How is your teacher responsible for your learning? I'm asking this question because I have often heard students say, I didn't learn English in school because I didn't have a good teacher of English. And I've said this myself. I used to say this. Well, I can actually say it now. I didn't learn English in school because I didn't have a good teacher. In, in school, I mean when I was a teenager. Okay. When I was a teenager, I didn't have... Um, I had English classes in school, but these classes were all based on grammar, basically learning the rules, doing, trans like translating little uh, texts, sh short texts, translating sentences. It was all written, okay? This is actually called the grammar translation method, which is still very popular today in many countries around the world. Um, so I didn't really, uh, I never spoke English in class. The teacher would just write sentences on the blackboard and uh, explain, like in Italian, of course, not, not in English. Uh, so I remember the teacher, um, she would explain the rule of the present perfect, the rule for uh, the conditionals, all these things. We didn't even have vocabulary uh, lessons like we we didn't learn words i had a a thick grammar book uh written in italian and english and that that was it so of course when i was 19 when i graduated from high school i couldn't speak a word of english i just knew basic stuff i knew a lot of about the grammar a lot about the grammar but i I couldn't communicate, I couldn't have conversations in English. I still remember uh, when I was on a beach in 20, 20, uh, 20, I can't remember, uh, I was 21, uh, 2008 probably, we met, I was on a beach in Italy, I was on holiday with my friends and uh, we met two German girls and their English was amazing. And I couldn't, I just, I just could say, you know, I could just say basic things like, uh, where are you from? Let's go for a drink. Um, would you like to, you know, play with the ball? <laughs> I don't know, all this um, basic, basic uh, stuff. And that, that's when I realized, well, this is actually a, a, a limitation that I have. And I used to think, this is because I didn't have great teachers in school. They didn't teach me English. But, I mean, is this my fault? I couldn't speak English because, because I was lazy, because I didn't, really, um, I didn't really want to learn English when I was a teenager in school. So why should I now blame my teachers? because they didn't teach it to me. So when you say, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have um, a good teacher in school, so this is why I, I don't have good English now, or maybe you have good English now, but you still think that you could have, you could have had better English um, if, you had, uh, if you had had good teachers. Okay. Well, if you're saying this, I think that you are, we are, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I have the same idea here. Um, maybe you're thinking that it's all on your teacher. You know, your learning depends on your teacher, 100%. And that's not true. That's absolutely not true. So what's the percentage? How, how much is your teacher responsible for your learning? And how much are you responsible for your learning?
probably probably 50 50 so we we share responsibility with the teacher if teach if the teacher is um, motivated to teach then you know he would he would play um, he would have a, a great impact on your learning okay so if, if the teacher is a good teacher well then learning will happen more uh, easily but if the teacher is a good teacher and you are not motivated then learning will not really happen right he can't make you learn nobody nobody in the world can make you learn it has to come from from you this is why teenagers in my experience uh, in my experience as a teacher and in my experience as a teenager because I was a teenager once um, if they're not motivated it's it's hard it's hard to to make someone learn when when they don't want to learn it's hard to make um, someone hungry when they don't they don't want food right how can you how can you make someone hungry if they don't want food? I'm not hungry. Why are you giving me food? So the same, and, and here we can go, we could think about the role of, of education in society as well. Because uh, um, do we need schools? Hmm. This is a big, very big question that I can't answer in this video. I, I would probably need to think about it for 10 years before I have an answer. But do we need schools? Like, do we need to send all these uh, young people into one classroom and make them learn about things they don't want to learn, things they are not interested in? Um, well, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard, but I have, I tend to think that probably we need better schools. We need to, um, to create a new form of education. And, uh, but now why am I talking about this? I was talking about teachers. Anyway, anyway, uh, this is probably this, I will talk about this in another video. But, um, what I want to say is your teacher is responsible for your learning up to a point up to a point so you shouldn't we shouldn't blame teachers if you're not learning you could say well a teacher is um, the role of the teacher is to motivate is to motivate me right I want to I need someone who can motivate me to learn because I am not motivated enough to learn a language or to learn anything so I need someone who um, who guides me, someone who uh, tells me what to do, someone that uh, can hold me accountable and responsible for my learning. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I mean, um, if you have someone who motivates you, like a coach, it would be, I mean, learning would be easier, right? I believe. Uh, but you don't need to, you don't need to, if you're motivated enough, um, then you don't need, <laughs> I don't think you need someone who tells you what to do because you already know what to do. Uh, you don't need a teacher to learn, you don't need a course to learn, um, but um, I actually talk about this in, in, in my book. So in, in one chapter of the book, I tell you that you need teachers because I, I had teachers, English teachers, um, in public schools, but also in uh, when I took private courses. And it was really helpful, even though I was motivated. I was very motivated to learn. So having a teacher was even more beneficial for my learning. But I've met... I've met uh, students who are just motivated as they are, so they don't need uh, a teacher to learn. And 
I don't think they would blame teachers for for their learning if, if they're not learning okay so yeah this is just a random random uh, random ideas that I um, came up with this morning because I was thinking about those students who say well I didn't have a good teacher so I couldn't speak English when I was in my 20s well but uh, actually did you want to learn did you want to learn English did you want to learn history did you want to learn like I had a very bad teacher of French when I was in school I can't I don't even know I don't know anything about French I don't I can't speak it I can't do anything in French and I always think that it's because French classes were terrible terrible we used to play cards so we didn't even listen to the teacher was that my fault I mean is it my fault that I can't speak French or is it the teacher fault? the teacher's fault hmm we are both responsible okay we are both responsible so um, this is it I, I'd like to to know your thoughts on this um, if you have um, ideas on how teachers can actually help you learn and how much of your learning depends on the quality of, of your teachers let me know I hope this is helpful I hope this will make you think um, about this and um, have a great day Bye-bye.